Hey, Elliot here, and I'm going to show you how to get started and how to use the live webinar platform. We'll start off with the look of the dashboard. Looks pretty clean, right? Starting from the left hand side of the dashboard, you have the primary tabs as follows. Most of the magic happens in the rooms slash events tab. And below that you have the invite participants tab, the sub accounts, recordings and storage. And lastly, the tests and surveys tab. For this video, we'll only cover some of these points. In the upper right hand corner of the screen, you will find my profile, billing, recorder settings, streaming settings and affiliate program tabs. In the billing section, you can purchase add-ons as an upgrade to your plan at any time. By clicking on the question mark icon, you'll be able to find the help, frequently asked questions and materials section. Just to the left of that icon, by clicking on the bell, you will open the notification center. Here you can see the updates we periodically publish and by clicking on the marketing tab, you can find some nifty notifications. So you want to create your first event? Let's just hop back over to the room slash events tab and you'll have two options. You can either create an instant meeting by clicking on the blue button or schedule a webinar by clicking on the green button to the right of your screen. You have three styles of events, scheduled, permanent and evergreen. Permanent rooms are always open and can be unlocked for a multitude of events. Evergreen events are placed where scheduled videos or online hosted videos can be displayed. When creating a scheduled webinar, you can customize the event. Start off by giving your event a name. Your event name will correspond with your event URL. And if you're like me and you like to keep things organized and your dashboard nice and tidy, you can create tags for each of your events. This is very helpful if you organize multiple events. I have learned from experience. Select the start date, time, duration and the time zone you would like for your events. The addition of creating an event agenda can benefit your attendees as well. Remember to save your progress by clicking on the green button at the bottom of the page. In the registration tab, you can enable the use of forms. Restricting access and capturing leads can be configured in the event form section. You're able to choose from a saved form or design a new form. By clicking on the manage option and scrolling to the bottom of the form, you can execute marketing automation campaigns by integrating forms with external platforms. The option to toggle registrants joining multiple sessions during an event, blocking registrations and reminders on and off can all be configured on this page. For a more in-depth guide about the dashboard, watch this video up here. In the appearance tab, you can create five fully customizable page templates that you can create before the event, for the event registration and also after the event. You can select a range of content elements to make your webinar preparation really stand out from the crowd. Don't forget about the customization of your room with the addition of a background banner. You can toggle the option for an ads banner and background image on the main appearance page. Check out the tutorial over here to find out more. For the remaining tracking, paid webinars, security and advanced tabs, I've created a comprehensive guide in another video as a little reminder, all the videos I've mentioned are also linked in the description. And finally, to make sure you actually have people show up to your webinar, don't forget to invite them. It would be pretty funny if you simply forgot to invite anyone. To do this, head over to the Invite Participants tab on the left. You can then select which type of invitation and the event you'd like to send out by clicking on the three dots located here and clicking on the invite participants option, you will also redirect you to the invitations page. I hope you started off with a bang and now you know the basics. Seeing as you've happily enjoyed me this long, why not give the video a thumbs up and comment on your favorite feature about the platform. That'll be all for today and till the next one, keep a smile on that dial.